been recording the whole time while we were discussing beards. Oh, shit. He probably was. <laughs> yeah, see, he was. No, I wasn't. I just started. Man, you missed the best part of the cold open. All right, all right, redo it, redo it, redo it. And action. This is the Experience Podcast with me and someone else. Yo, what's up? Hi. This is what happens when you miss the unscripted cold open. Um, you just get dead air. So, so, so who do we have here today? John Roberts. Could be anyone. And the Rat Cat Kid. That, is that, is that uh, is still the nickname? Are we still going with that? Sure. I am. Sure, let's go with that nickname. It's like seems like a legacy nickname, you know? Yeah, no, nah, everyone know? knows that. Everyone knows that. Even the rats this year know that he was the rat cat kid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, for what it's worth, I still wear my Georgia Tech band jacket at work every um whenever I can. Which is pretty much which jacket? the rain the rain jacket? Is there another one? I don't know, like, we got, like, bowl game gear. There's plenty of, I have plenty of jackets. No, nah, just the rain jacket. I just, I just have the rain jacket. What do you define as a jacket? Jackets? Nope, nice try. Nope. Nope. Hey, um, Daniel's the one that started it. Still the one that started it. Um, John, any cool gear you still wear? Uh, I like the Adidas. Uh, what do you call those quarter zips? Like where you where it zips part of the way down? Oh, you're you know bold. talking about what do you, you call those? Your gears? I don't know. I forget. You you saying when the when the zipper goes a quarter of the way down? What do you call those? Yeah, they're not called quarter, quarter zips. zips. What's called quarter zip? Zip? There's another name for it. There's a goofy ass name for it. Pullover. Maybe maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, it's a quarter zip pullover. Oh, okay, okay. Um, Dude, you should have gone. You should have been a fashion designer, Daniel. I, I should. I, I, I clearly missed the boat on that one. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think it, it's a pullover. Do you count it's that as like a jacket? Zipper has that. Is that a thing I mean, it comes in a sweater. It comes in a jacket. Um, I count as a jacket. Sure. Sure, I count as a jacket. <laughs> I'm just asking questions here, guys. Yeah, I know, I know. Would you play. like to start a line? No. Um, so what, what do we got going on today? Uh, anyone? Uh, well, Maybe? I was in Texas uh, this week. Uh, Is everything trip- bigger there? Uh, yeah, especially the uh, intolerance for ice. Hmm. No, but for real though, like I was in Texas last week, uh, this past week, and um, so first off, my flight got canceled in the morning, so yeah. they diverted me through Midway, then to Long. I was able to get in, I was able to get to my hotel, I was able to get food, I was able to go to work the next day, and then we got ice, and then we got snow, okay, so we got snow over the ice. And uh, it was a the streets were a veritable slip and slide. Veritable. Yes. Where were you flying from? Here, uh, DCA. Actually. DCA. Okay. No, Reagan. dude, I went there actually. Uh, recently. Where? No, I'm not even joking. I I don't know why Daniel's laughing. I actually went to DC. No, I'm laughing because. Uh, what the hell is this? I'm, I'm laughing because John asked, "Where'd you fly from?" And he just goes, "Here." Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> No, I, <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't trying to be a jerk about that. No, I. No, I was being a jerk about it. Me too. I was just kind of <laughs> rolling with it. I was rolling with it, dude. I'm a good podcast guest. So Technically, anyway. here would be um, <laughs> here would be Washington Dulles. Uh, but no, well, I in, well I from, just in case you're wondering where I flew from to get to DC, it was from here. Oh man, where's the helicopter? 
pretty far away. Pretty far yeah. distance. <laughs> no, but seriously, when were you in DC, man? Uh, I was doing it for a research thing. Um, it was pretty fun. It was actually at the uh, Watergate Hotel, the place they brought down oh, Nixon, shit. right? Well, they didn't bring that down Nixon. Nixon fancy. brought himself down. It well, well the, the reason that Nixon was brought down, I guess. That's a better way to say it. Yeah. Sure. That was a fancy-ass place, though. That was cool. Yeah. Damn, you should have let me know you were in town. We could have caught up. Yeah, maybe. I didn't I didn't spend very long there, though. It was only a couple days. Yeah. That'll do it. But yeah, so I flew from here, from from, DC, from Reagan to Chicago Midway to Dallas Love. Uh, I got him just fine. Uh, I went to work. Literally, um, our boss, like, our customer told us to go home. Uh, as he was like, you're in Texas, you're in a storm, there's an ice storm, there's snow, there's ice. Why are you at the, why are you at the site? Go home. Yeah. Um, you can't fly through all that shit. Yeah, that's, that's true. Yeah, so basically, like, it's uh, Tuesday and Wednesday were short days where we, like, Checked in in the site for a little while, and then went back to our hotel, like, after lunch. Because, um, otherwise it was going to get worse. And, yeah, it basically had me questioning my life choices. Okay, life choices questioned. (laughs) Nah, man, like... No, like, there was a thin sheet of ice over the road. There was no traction. I was almost about to hit somebody when I was trying to get out of my apart, get out of the hotel parking lot. Thick sheet of ice, right? Could always be worse. I guess. I guess. I mean, like it was a, like a thin sheet of ice, but it was still thick enough that like the tires were not crushing the ice. Like they were not grinding the ice up. Yeah, I know that feeling. It's okay though, I'm back. Uh, I didn't hit anybody, we're back, we're safe. Uh, any crazy weather travel stories anybody wants to share? Have you, have you ever been in a crash before? Any car crash? Or collision? Unfortunately, unfortunately yes. It's a collision. It's a collision, Unfor- right. Unfortunately, right. yes. How'd that happen? I've never been in a crash, so, or a uh, collision, I mean, sorry. So, I, I can't, I'll have to skip this one, but let me know how it happened for you, Anoush. I'm curious. Well, let's see, I backed into somebody. Uh, in my apartment complex, and then I Ooh. turned into somebody waiting to make a right turn at an intersection. Uh, the, the me backing into the guy, uh, they didn't. Uh, I didn't. There was no real damage to the to the rear bumper, and I don't know what happened to this car. But the other collision, uh, I dented my and actually punctured my bump, my front bumper, so I had to get it replaced. Punctured it? Did did all the air come out of it? <laughs> like a balloon? Nah. No, Deep thank God. Eight. No, thank God. Speaking of balloons, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> what do you mean it was gonna come up? <laughs> Go ahead. How did I know it was gonna come up? <laughs> well, you, yeah, John, you're the one that started it. I know I am. I am. No, dude. I will. I will take responsibility. I've come very close to hitting people before. Yeah. Uh, I haven't yet. I haven't scraped my car yet, but I've come Good. very damn close. Um. Sounds like you only had minor fender benders, right? Yeah. Fortunately, I haven't heard anybody fender deflators, right? Yeah. Well. Yeah. Sure. Fortunately, I haven't hurt anybody, and I haven't gotten hurt myself. That's good. That's good. It's actually weird though, um, when I was coming for, um, alumni band in 2021, I hit something on the road, like I hit, like a, uh, a, so I don't know what I hit, but I hit something on the road, and it screwed up the, uh, the cooling system, ended up totaling the car, had to get a new one. Wait, what? Yeah. What, like something, some piece of metal, like flew up into the engine or something? Like how did that happen? I, I still don't know. The hell? Well, I what, still don't know. What did you? What did they tell you caused that? I don't know, but it like it hit the front of the car and like the 
it got dented upwards and it messed up like the cooling I think like my radiator and like whatever the other stuff is and up there. What the, the cooling hell? element. It it was bad. Like the car was leaking coolant. Okay? Ah. The car was leaking coolant. I'll tell you the most I've spent on my car is uh which I don't know how to explain this still. Apparently uh a piece of well, actually, it was a screw, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a screw. Mm-hmm. Um, I was driving, apparently, and one day I noticed that my one of my tire pressures was low. Somehow a screw got into the side of the tire, not the part where they can patch it, but it got put in the side of the tire somehow. Like, I don't know how that would happen. Like, even if I hit a curb, like, how the hell would it get there? So I had to get a whole new tire. That was like but that sounds a lot cheaper than all the shit you've been through with your cars. So yeah, I can't complain really. But you know, are new tires two hundred dollars? Is that a thing? $200? Well, it was a, it was a fairly new vehicle. New it was a fairly new vehicle, and I was trying to match all the all the other tires with it. That's Is it one new? T- was it one new tire or a yeah. full set? One brand new tire. Okay, one yeah, brand new like a full set of tires. It was expensive. It was expensive, but I was trying to match it. So you know, what else, you Daniel? If you have many uh, collisions. Lately, uh, well, while I was going to talk about the, I was going to talk about the uh, weather thing because, like, driving on ice and snow, like, I, that's me every day. So, yeah, I thought you were still in Atlanta. No, I'm in, I'm in upstate. He's not New wrong. Oh. I'm here. Um, He's here. There, I mean, he's there. So, so I slip inside all. Well, I don't slip inside. Shit. All the time. Yeah. No, it's Dude, not that would scare the shit out of me. I barely, you know, hydroplane for a split second, and that scared the living hell out of me. It, so it, I can't it imagine. Got pretty, it, got, it got pretty sketchy a couple days ago when we were, I would go into the stop sign. And, and to give myself credit here, I gave myself plenty of time to stop. But yeah. it's okay. there's like no traction. There's like no traction. There's there's my, my coworkers in front of me. At a stop sign. Like I said, I, I'm trying. I'm trying. I got my ABS flashing. My yeah. Anti skids flashing. You hear the little kind of that noise. Getting back and like, forth, and I'm like, ABS, dude, I'm like, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking the guy in front of me, like, man, you better, you better move out of the stop sign. I'm not sure Ooh. I'm gonna make it. <laughs> well, I, I talked to him about it the other day, and he's like, or the next day, and he's like, yeah, I, I saw that. I was getting a little worried. I was like, yeah, the whole time as I was getting, I'm like, oh, man, he better, he better go. Did it work out okay? No, it did. We didn't. I didn't. I, w- I didn't come back. You didn't collide. You didn't have a collide. No, I, I, I had plenty of margin because he, he ended up leaving, and I, I actually got to a stop by the end. But it was, it was a little funny. Like, do you have winter? What do they call them? Winter tires? Or uh, tires? I don't. What do you call them? I don't the have ones with more like deeper treads. I guess. What, yeah, like? I, I don't have those. Really? I just have all In seasons. That oh yeah, I've got it, all seasons. To be honest, but... it's not that big of an issue usually. Okay. Um. Because I've never driven in that weather, so yeah. Well, it it actually has. It's been a pretty mild winter, you know. I know I talk about it a lot on the show, but it really hasn't been that bad this year. Um, and then even even then, usually I don't skid like like that was really bad, but that but that that's been like the first time all all winter that I've had like actual problems with skidding. Yeah. Um, because usually I'm, it's like yeah. it's just like like snow I can drive through easily. Um. As long as you give yourself enough margin to stop, you usually can can figure it out. I assume you just kind of go a bit slower, like what ten yeah. is the limit, that kind of thing. You just try to make slow sure down, you react. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just slow down. It's really, it's not that. Once you get used to it, it's it's pretty straightforward. The the harder part is not being able to see when there's like a whole whiteout. Yeah, when, when it's, it's a whiteout, whiteout. No, they call it. Like, I've had so that a couple of times going to work with my wow. My job's right on the lake, obviously, so we get pretty heavy snow right on the lake, and sometimes you really you can't see more than a few feet in front of you. So you're just kind of driving, like, yeah. And it's dark well, out. If I hit something soon, I'll hear it. <laughs> I won't so see it, but I'll hear it. it. I'll hear the clang. That, that, yeah. That's happened a few times, too. So. God damn. Well, have, yeah. you, have you had any collisions, Daniel, in your life, um, like, all together? I, I had someone hit me. Did it was not at fault. Yeah, they ran a, a they ran a red light. Oh, red, red. yeah, what an ass! I was I was, you, and it wasn't even one of those close ones where like I'm going on yellow like a yellow light kind of a thing. No, this was yeah, like they were. This was like, dude, come on. 
Just and it was like 6 a.m. Yeah. It's like 6 o'clock in the morning, too. The guy's like, oh, sorry, I'm tired. I'm like, come on, man. It's a yeah, well, light. I'm tired, too. I'm tired of your shit. <laughs> you better pay for this. <laughs> hey, well, if he had did, you, did, did his insurance cover all the damage? Like, how did that work? Yeah, I've never heard of that kind my, of shit. My, like, car, is, did my he, car did pretty well. You, okay, it it okay. really wasn't too bad, like. Was like it like more of a T one or were you turning? Did he hit your He rear? hit my right rear wheel. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. So I did a little spin. But but the thing is you wouldn't you couldn't tell. Like if you just walked up to my if you just showed up on the street and you saw my car, you couldn't tell the damage. It would just That's his, a good thing, right? off there. Yeah, my car okay. my car is was bigger than his. He had this little like two thousand two Honda Civic or whatever, like it was. It oh, was Civic. See, that was my first guess. Yeah, <laughs> like I don't. The first not, it wasn't bad. I think. Right? Yeah. I think it was. A, I think it was like a Hyundai or something else. But the point what is, like, it was like my car. His car was like probably totaled, but my oh, car I ended up doing oh. fine, which is kind of ironic because he kind of hit me just by weight, and I guess the because he hit my wheel as opposed to, like if he had hit like the door. Yeah, yeah, you could just replace I assume did you just replace the wheel for the most part? Like, the wheel, well, the wheel the cover, frame. they had to they had to redo the suspension and all that. Oh. Um yeah. because like it basically shoved in the wheel. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It warped uh, it a bit. Yeah. So they had to redo the alignment, but but it it really like in the grand scheme of things was not that big of a a deal. What did it cost you, if you recall, if you're fine? Oh, insurance. So. Insurance. Insurance just covered it all? His, it insurance, his insurance. Not even yeah. mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, it didn't matter good. to me at all. Good, good, good. Jeez. Do you have a dash cam? Because, see, I've, I've thought about getting a fucking dash cam because it's like, dude, there is no telling what. Like, have you seen how these people, like, they'll try to jump in front of you and then you'll slam on brakes and then they'll run up against your front bumper and then fall over like they hit, like you hit them or something? That's that's the like thing, all this, this bullshit. Is a, they try to yeah. Sorry, good. This is a pretty large intersection, so the the police and and the insurance people were always at were always asking me like, did you try to stop? Like, did you see him? Like, first of all, he's on my right side, so you got more right. There's more distance. Yeah. Right and more of a blind car. spot. Yep, more of a blind spot. But then also, I did see him, and I basically had like a split second to react. Like, do you stop and risk just getting like plowed? Right. Or do you or do try you to speed through and get out of the way? Well, and I think also I, I risk sped through and, and flipping. Well, well, I sped through because and I came close because he hit my right wheel. Yeah. But speeding through actually helped because if I had slowed down, you know, he probably would have hit the front you of me or something yeah, like that. You, you it it would have been a lot worse. Slow down, either slow down yeah. or stopping. It ended yeah. up. It, I mean, you know, process over results, but like it ended up working out. Um, how, how fast do you think you run. both were going at the time? Just estimate. I was. I was going the speed limit, and he was probably also going about the speed. He like we were both probably not speeding. Um, and what, what? Who was turning? Was it you or him? Neither of us were turning. That's what I'm saying. We were both going on a red. It was he was running a red light. I, I was going straight through. Well, you're saying? Oh oh oh! He was yeah, trying yeah, to run a red was, light, and then you stopped. He was running a red see. light. That's his fault. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I right, right. He, well, he, he ran a red light. I'm going. It, so I guess that's. I'm thing. going straight yeah. on green. He's going straight on red. <laughs> I got so, it. Yeah. No, no. Because yeah. we had the police had to come because they had to tow my they had to tow our cars. Like it was. Uh, it was that bad? Like you couldn't drive. Well, out? I couldn't drive it because my right wheel was well, tucked the, in. The suspension so. probably got completely screwed. Uh, yeah, if you tried yeah. to drive that, it was probably going to screw it up even worse. Yeah, yeah that's a good point. The car wouldn't even let. Yeah, my car wouldn't even let me. It wouldn't even turn on because I think it jiggled like a. Oh, really? The battery is also right above my right wheel in my car. Oh, wait, really? Oh, no. I didn't even know they make some cars that, like that. Holy well, it's a, it's, oh, a no, hybrid. That sucks. It's, it's a hybrid. It's the the hybrid part. The okay, hybrid. hybrid. It's got two. My car has two batteries. It's got the normal battery in the front for just like starting, and then it's also got my hybrid battery in the back. Yeah. So it, it jiggled a wire loose, I think. Yeah. Oh, it, I think it sucks. Like, like jiggled a wire. It wasn't that bad. The battery that was couldn't have ended it just up like jiggled a wire loose. Yeah, that was the worst spot probably for you to get hit. I so, well, no, because the wheel hitting the wheel reduced like exterior damage. Yeah. But there maybe but like the yeah it just got a wire loose and they had to redo the suspension. But it, it honestly wasn't yeah. that like even the mechanic was like yeah it's actually it's not it wasn't that bad. Like I said, if you just saw me on the road, you probably. Like from far away, you wouldn't even know that because there was no other like paint damage or anything. I mean, I think they replaced yeah. 
That's some true. of the paneling just because it, again it was kind of free. There's well, like, was that well your, touch it up. Was that your only collision you've ever had? That that's that's it. I mean nothing. No, I'm pretty good. Oh shoot! I was gonna say the wheel thing reminded me one time. Uh, my friend was, uh, I was taking my friend back home, I think from the golf course, cause we were playing golf or something. I don't know. Uh, and he was like, oh, you know what? Let's take this, uh, I don't know. He was like the scenic route, you know, he was, let's yeah. take a dirt road instead. And I didn't yeah, know right. there was this really sharp turn. So I was going just a regular, you know, 30, 40 miles an hour. And it was night. I, I should mention it was night. And all of a sudden, I'm just, you know, driving along, driving along. And all of a sudden, I see this complete wall of trees, and I'm like, holy shit. And I slam the brakes, try to turn it, and I get caught in a ditch. Oh. And I swear, dude, I blistered my tires trying to come out of there. I was oh, an no. idiot. I thought I could try to get out of there. But, you know, luckily, his girlfriend, uh, her family ran a kind of tow truck service, so they got us out the day after. Oof. Not for too much. It was I was hoping like you were going to say his girlfriend just pushed us right out. State. What's that? I was hoping you were going to say his girlfriend just pushed us right out. Yeah, yeah. His girlfriend's massive, dude. She's bigger than the car. She just pushed him, <laughs> pushed it out. No, dude, that thing was massive. I, I was driving what's now my mom's car. It's a, uh, what, 4 x 4 I think it's a 2017. I mean, that thing, yeah, that thing was stuck in there good, right in the ditch. I was, like, leaning, like, 30 degrees probably to the side. That sucked. Oh, my God. That felt so bad. My dad was so pissed. But anyway, I uh, we worked it out. It wasn't your fault, 100 bucks. 100 bucks. I got, towed out. I got towed right out. Nothing was damaged. So that's the worst, I think, that I've ever done with a vehicle. Your fault? Huh? Your fault? Yeah, it was my – I would say it's my fault. Part my fault, part my oh. friend's fault for not saying it was good, that good accountability. Burn, but, I mean, you know, yeah, we can weigh the consequences. I don't know. Or, sorry, the causes, but, yeah. I don't know. Sorry, sorry, we we went on this vehicular tangent, but uh, I have another car question. Give us another topic, Daniel. How yes. much? Well, I have another car question. How much oh, is sure. too much to spend on a car, a new car? Oof, mm. I don't know. Um, Obviously, I bought mine used, and it cost me about twenty-two five. John, you would. I think most people would use their car to drive places. <laughs> Oh, I thought Unless you, you meant to race. Stare at. What about racing? That wasn't clear. Stare at in the driveway. What the hell? What about what about racing? You guys are man? driving cars. What the fuck <laughs> are you doing? <laughs> what if you're what if you're dri- what if you were using that shit to race, man? Then what? Maybe. Oh, it's yeah, a whole thing. This isn't a Fast and the Furious movie. Yeah. This doesn't have to be. So, uh, um, I got a family friend that actually like mods cars for racing. Yeah. Uh, follow Toys RS on Instagram. Toys Fascinating. RS? Toys, toys underscore RS. RS. Yes, Toys underscore RS. Don't ask. Don't, don't ask. Uh, you tell us. I won't ask. I won't ask. Don't worry. I won't ask. Well, I don't know why it's called Toys underscore RS. <laughs> nah, that, that stuff is kind of cool. I've, I've always heard that's a cool experience going to drag races and shit. And modding like a cars? A drag race, like a proper drag race? No. No? I'm sure it's loud. I mean, yeah. It's... Sorry to say the obvious. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. It, I know you know it's loud, too, but... Uh, What's that? It's... Why did you mute, Daniel? Why did you mute? Speak up. She's going to make a... Speak up, son. No, my I, neighbor's walking I upstairs. This. He, people uh, have complained about the noise when my neighbor walks around upstairs, <laughs> so I try to okay. mute when they when he does that. Uh, uh-huh. I thought you were about to make a snide comment. Yeah. You had to restrain yourself. <laughs> oh no, I don't restrain myself for that. Oh, yes, oh that's, that's different. different. Have you been to a uh, aviation show? Oh, oh yeah, to, it, dude. No? Air shows are fun. You out of a douche? What did you see? What planes did you see do you, that you recall? Uh, it's been a while, but I do remember the Blue Angels were there. 
Oh yeah, I saw the Blue Angels one time. That was cool. It was at um it was a Dobbins. It was a Dobbins Air, Air, Air Reserve base. I forget where I saw the show. Have you seen an F twenty two? Because that's what I one of the things I remember. The I think I have. Movie. Dude, that yeah. that was loud as shit. I was a little kid then, and I would I was pressing the shit out oh, of my ears oh. with my fingers, and it was still loud. Like, oh, um, the, the story scary. behind that, the story behind, I think it was an F, I think that was this, I saw an F twenty two in. Uh, uh, I know I saw an F thirty five. Um, F twenty five or F thirty five? Thirty five. I don't think F twenty five exists. No, F thirty five. Oh, so, sorry, I um, I'm sorry, I'm a surgeon. It was summer of 2019, um, 4th of July in D.C. I happened to be up here for, uh, for an internship, and I decided to go to the Capitol Fourth with some friends. Hmm. And um, Trump, ha- President Trump, at, at the time President Trump, Happened to also be giving an, an address at the Lincoln Memorial. Um, we did not go to that address. We saw, watched the address on a friend's phone, but we went straight to the Capitol building so that we could see the Capitol Force and like get seats. So we happened to catch uh, flyovers. The flyovers. When was this? He said 2019, was that right, Anoush? Yes, 29, summer of 2019. I didn't think that they had operational F- F- F-35s at that point. That's cool. Let me see. What was the first? Because F-35s were pretty recent from, uh, what was it, Lockheed? They've already Martin, been, they've already been uh, used Stumper. in combat. No, I know, but they, they took several years to get developed. Hold on, let me see. Let me see. What was the first time in F-35? Because those are cool planes. So it was 2018, the, I think. Have you seen the Navy ones, the ones that can do the, a vertical takeoff? Where the, they the F-35B. Angle it. That's the Bs, yeah. The Navy yeah, the F-35B. Version. Yeah. I thought this was very recent, though, like the past year or two. That's really awesome. No. Okay. They've had them since 2015. Did you get to watch the uh, – well, okay, okay, I guess so. I didn't think that they were out in the world, though, yeah, at that point. That's cool. No, nah, they saw the, uh, combat in 2018. Really? Yeah, Israel was Israel's been using them in combat. Damn, I didn't know that. I do know they're the, they're the uh, only one that's being sold to other countries. I know the F-22 isn't for sale. Well, that's yeah. an American only, but the F-35, what they got the cost down a lot, I think, from what initially it was. Like, what, 80 mil down to, like, 40 or 50 mil? I do not know. Might have been. I'm sure the F-35B is a lot more expensive, though, with all that extra gear and shit. Anyway, sorry. See, now we went from vehicles to aircraft. Sorry, Daniel. All right. Tell us a good topic. Tell us another topic. We're just ranting at this point. No, no. You guys are free. This is our podcast now. This is no. our podcast. Yeah, I'm not Dave, look at me. Look at me. Give look us at me. A, I'm the host of the podcast. Give us a good Johnny Carson impression and just, you know, drive the uh, drive the conversation. Oh, no, no. I, 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 I'm going to let you guys handle it. Um, you're, you're really taking off here. Like like an aircraft, yeah. That was like that an was air, pretty good, yeah. Daniel. That was pretty. Yeah. That was pretty subtle, Daniel. That was pretty subtle. Oh. Okay. That's still pretty good, yeah. though. Ain't gonna lie. Nah, nah. It wasn't that good. It wasn't that good. <laughs> Speak for yourself. If only it was intentional. Uh, yeah. Okay. What? What do you? What do you guys want to talk about then? If not planes and five seconds of news, come up with another topic. Four, three. Two, one. I got nothing. Zero. Oh, come on. Nothing. Nothing is a good topic. What about nihilism like Friedrich Nietzsche? <laughs> That's actually a good idea. What do you, what do you think about nothing and nothingness? Ugh. And existentialist like crises and that kind of thing. What do you think? I'd like to think I could pay my own path in life, you know? Yeah? yeah. What if that path is towards nothingness? I doubt that would be uh I doubt that would be the case. 
That's good then. I'm surprised. What's got you down, Nurse? What's going on? Yeah. What? Why? Why do you ask? I'm just he's reading too much. He's reading too much Nietzsche. I haven't yeah, actually yeah. ever read Nietzsche. Find that funny enough. You Niall is faster. I feel bad for you. <laughs> no, okay. It's okay. dog. <laughs> it's called projection, right? Isn't that the term <laughs> for it? No. All right. Well, Not like that. Come on, you gotta have a more positive topic to think of, right, Anoush? Other than nothing. I mean, I don't know. What have you been up to these days? I don't know. Well, well we're all united by music, right? Yes. What kind of music y'all listen to? Lately, new shit. Lately, uh, Andre's been the same shit. You know, hip hop, rap, a bit of uh, Bollywood mixed in here, here every now and then. So, How do you define like, the difference between hip hop and rap, by the way? I like honestly don't know. Opinions. I honestly don't know. Um, yeah. I really don't have a distinction. It's just a thing. Although I will concede, uh, when I write rap, it's rap. It's not hip hop. When you write, you make hip hop. Or no. rap, I mean, I make rap. It is rap. rap. It is I'm not hip-hop. Sorry, I misspoke. I misspoke. I'm sorry. I'm it not familiar is. enough with the subtleties, but... Neither am I, but I can probably say, I can safely say it is not hip-hop, and it's probably it's not even trap either. Where can we find your... It uh, looks like... SoundCloud mixtape. I already shared it with uh, Steelix. I, uh... It's a, it was a project I did for, um... Steelix. The football season. <laughs> I forgot that was your name. <laughs> You don't remember this? I, I did a thing. No, I, I almost forgot that was your name. Daniel, when was the last time you've been called Steelix? Last time it was on the podcast. <laughs> okay, yeah, Keeping yeah. you honest, dog. Keeping you honest. Last time the Rat Cap Kid was on the podcast. Yeah, that makes sense. It's like, keeping you honest. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, um, I actually had this conversation with him. Um, I sta- I sh- with you, uh, I... Shared the shared the mixtape with you. Uh, it was a little project for the football season. It's, it's still on the Google Drive, and I don't know if I'm going to do it again this year. The Google Drive? Well, yeah, I don't use uh, I don't know a SoundCloud. I just use Google Drive, man. If you go to whatever podcast episode that was on, <laughs> there's a link in the description. I don't remember which one that was. Podcast number underscore underscore underscore. Um, yeah, the one that, the one that I'm thinking about. <laughs> yeah. I can't you know, you could always yeah. put it in the uh, description of this podcast. Oh, <laughs> same as one. I didn't even know you could do that with Sky. That's cool. He put the link on his uh, over his uh, image for all of the uh, audio listeners. Dude, I literally just put okay, it in the Okay, that was end. kind of a mid-joke. Okay, so anyway, uh, Anoush, do, what music do you like other than uh, rap and hip-hop? Rap, um, rock, a bit of Two Steps from Hell, a lot of orchestral stuff. Uh, obviously, got to get some Bollywood in there. What kind of rap, or rock, I mean, do you like? Linkin Park, 100%. Oh. And, uh, and cool. some AC/DC. The 2000 shit. And some ACDC. Yeah, yeah. And what kind of rap? Who are your favorite rap artists? Does it have to be like other than me? Other than you. I mean, I'm I'm asking about your your second, third, and fourth place artists, not your first place. I know you're your own. No, I'm pretty much, I think I'm probably like, okay, uh, let's see. What do I listen to lately? Uh, Jay-Z, Future. Uh, Future, okay. Who else? Uh, J. Cole, um, a bit of Kanye. Uh, Old Kanye or new Kanye? Old, like, Yeezus slash My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a classic. 
Damn right it is. What about you you, what do you think points? of the like new Kanye or old Kanye better? <laughs> Never listen to new Kanye. <laughs> I, Never I listen to what he says, not what he sings about. Uh, I'm like newest Kanye, frankly. <laughs> <laughs> I have never listened to any new Kanye. Oh, my God. He is like, oh, my God. He is he is a piece of work lately, isn't he? Yeah, I'm all the fuck it is. Anyway, um, uh, who else? Who else, Anoush? Who, uh, who else you got? Who else comes to mind? So a lot of my friends is trying to get me into, uh, what the fuck is it, uh, oh yeah, Young Thug and, um, who's the, who's the, oh, Doja Cat. I haven't heard of that. I've heard of Young Thug. That feels kind of similar to Future, though. That's not, like, new trap shit, right? Yeah. I'm trying to think, who is it? Oh, yeah, Doja Cat. Um, who else? Oh, yeah, she's good. No, I got a whole, like, uh. I got a whole, um, workout playlist that's, like, that's cool. my shit. And, uh, let's see, who do I have on here? Like, Future, I got Migos, I got Meek Mill on here. Ah, oh, shit, um, yeah, Migos. I was gonna say, that's... Savage. Oh, yeah. I got some Jeezy on here. I got some Rick Ross on here. Um, that's what I said. That's some, uh, That reminded kind of me the Migo shit. Did you know where was it that guy got killed again? Was it Offset or was it uh, what was the same? Take off. Take off is who it was. Yeah. What the hell was with that? That was crazy. Have they found him? No, they found the what guy. Did get, what did he get killed over again? No, I, I'm not sure. Actually. I don't think I want to know. Was it over a like bag or something this was like that? Uh, this Like he got just, you know, robbed or something or was it something other than that? I this was in, uh, this was in, uh, this was in Houston. This wasn't even Atlanta. This was in Houston. Oh, Houston. Shit. Well, I thought it was in Atlanta. That was what I assumed. So it was in, okay. That's weird then. Was it a, wasn't it a bowling alley or something? I thought it was a bowling Yeah, alley. something like yeah, that. Yeah, see, see? Okay, my memory's not too bad then. Okay. Anyway. See, we're taking a dark turn again. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, Daniel, Daniel, tell us your music right now, your favorite music taste. Oh, I don't really listen to music, so. Mm. But, uh, but you played in a band even, for three, for, well, you played a band for five years. Dude, you don't even listen to Chris Moore's classic hits? I know. I listen to Chris Moore's classic hits. All the classics. I mean, uh, I have all the dude. Only you Sina, played some. Sina. It's like you played uh, some. Come on. Not, not really anything. Well, maybe he's moved away from it then. That's a shame, Daniel. That's a shame. I never really listened to much music. Not really into uh, music, guys. You know, so. Oh, hey, what watch is that? you have on Daniel? Oh, the, uh, Galaxy? Yeah. You had a smartwatch? Yeah, it makes me feel smarter because I'm so dumb. Right. Do you drink smart water as well? Oh, but one of my coworkers does and I make fun of her for doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Like, why do they call it smart water? So they think smarter. a certain blend of minerals they add in makes you, like, ten times smarter or something? I don't get that. It's got to help. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Um, maybe if you're vitamin deficient or something. Uh, no, but what uh, what watch do you have? What uh, version? Uh, the great question. I, I think... can't actually uh, have a smart watch it... where I work. It kind of sucks. Why? It's just a thing. They don't allow that kind of stuff in the in the office. I don't know which one this is. It was it called it's, a gear or was it called a Galaxy Watch? Because they switched that for some reason. It's the Galaxy Watch. I'm trying to figure out which one it is. Okay, because I have the five. I have the most recent one because I traded my phone in for it. 
Oh, huh. four. four. Four, okay. Yeah. thought it was the four, but I couldn't. They got rid of the bezel. So you have the spinning bezel, don't you? Like the hardware bezel, the thing you can spin around the outer edge. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, it's just a uh Shit, see, this digital. one, they got rid of that. They kind of replicate it with the uh, uh, touch it's screen, digital. but it's not the same. Yeah. yeah. They do have some cool health shit, though, with this one that the old ones didn't have, so I don't know. I can't complain too much. What phone do you have? Do you have a Samsung phone as well? It's a Pixel. Oh, you got that oh. Google shit. Yeah, that Google it's shit. It's cheaper than, a, than an iPhone. <laughs> I hear the. I think I can afford an iPhone. Good, right? Is the huh? I paid four hundred dollars for this. Ooh, that's not too Show bad. Show me an iPhone that costs one hundred dollars. Um, yeah. You gotta go Samsung expensive. all the way. Did I show you this? I have the. Uh, hold on. He's got a Microsoft. He's got a Windows phone. No, this is the Samsung uh, Galaxy Fold. See that? Damn! I think it's awesome. And look at that. There's a little kickstand. You can set it down. This is a phone. That's a tablet. Nah, it's a phone. No, it's Watch a phone. this. See? <laughs> He's got that, uh, awesome. that medical school money really paying for that. Yeah, medical Whoa. more like more like <laughs> negative money for medical school. <laughs> no, just wait. Once you get out of once you get out of residency and you get into fellowship, and uh, you're gonna outpace all of us, dude. You I make... won't even probably go into a fellowship. Holy fuck, dude! I'm gonna be would you three hundred thousand in debt by the time I'm out of uh, medical school, and I'll barely get paid anything as a resident. Yeah, I was gonna say residency. Your fellowship of residency. You, don't worry, John. You'll be making minimum wage. Yeah, yeah. My dad was like thirty five, forty before he paid off all his debt. He had to. He paid for his own private practice, though, so that's probably part of it. He had to buy the building and shit. But still, still, it's like I'm gonna be in the hole for decades. That's yeah, gonna well, suck. What'd you say you were doing uh, lately, Anoush? What was your uh, line of work again? I'm still doing uh, cyber stuff, uh, you know, software development, uh, architectural stu- architectural studies, research and stuff. Um, I've been yeah. traveling a good bit, though. See, that's what I would want to do if not medicine. I'd probably want to do some uh, CS stuff. That could be cool. What what uh, company? Like, where do you? I'm still at Aerospace. Do? What's that? I'm still at Aerospace. Okay. He he can't talk too much about it for government. Yeah, it's uh, it's top secret. I don't want him to get fired or anything. He does a news. He does have um, a bunch of top secret documents. He can give to you, John, if you visit him. Oh, well, not necessarily because uh, <laughs> you won't be able Every to visit. Visitor, everyone that visits him can get can get these documents. Daniel, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> no, like actually, shut up. It's good. Dude, you are you are threatening his job security right now, Daniel. You better <laughs> shut the fuck up right now. <laughs> oh my god, dude, that reminds me of how yeah, my dad used to work for the military. He was in the NSA at some point. Oh boy, and there's some stuff he's like, yeah, I'm never gonna, I can't tell you, you know, <laughs> I can't tell you this and that. All I can say is. Uh, countries always have some kind of beef with each other, you know. They're always spying on each other, doing this and that. There's always conflict under, you know, public perception, I guess. But I guess that you should you should expect that. That's not really top secret. Well, but... yeah. Huh? You say, well, yeah. I mean, we are the. I mean, we just had a thing just now. Yeah. There's always some. There's always a storm brewing. Yeah. Always. You can't avert it. You can just be ready. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, I guess we can end it there. Um, on potential war. Yeah. Unless That's there was the something else to end is on. Yeah. wanted to cover. I don't think so. We'll just think about um, 
how our lives could change forever. Yeah. Uh, well, that's it. Catch y'all later.